Hi everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to build a tent. This is actually a shower slash utility room that I'm building today. However, it's very, very, very similar to a tent. This actually came with our tent. Don't know why. We've never used it. But I decided I'd do the little one, the little shower room, instead of the big tent because I'm doing this in my basement. So in the bag that your tent will come in, there's typically directions on it. Right here, there's the directions. However, I think for a lot of people, listening to directions is kind of helpful. So I hope this video provides that. In the tent, you're gonna have collapsible poles, like this one. So they, they collapse, like so. And when you get them out of the bag, you're gonna just kind of build them up by sticking one end into the other, like that. Also in the bag is going to be storage pockets for inside, a rain fly, and stakes. I'm not going to use the stakes, however, today because I'm doing this in my basement and I, there's no need for them. There's also going to be the actual tent room itself, obviously. So to begin, you're going to lay out your tent flat. And I already did this because I already started putting the poles in because... I think putting the poles in is a little difficult. However, you lay it flat, and when you build up your poles, when you're gonna build up your poles, the second thing you're gonna do is you're gonna find these blue pieces. Some tents have them all the way down, some tents only have them at the top, like this one. Take the arc, and make sure the arc goes and bends with the tent. So, of course, the arc has to be at the top for this one. And I'm going to stick it in this blue flap like that. And then at the top, there's a place for it to go nice and smoothly here. Just like that. So now it's in. At the bottom here, I can turn it around. At the bottom here, you're going to have a clip. I call it a clip because it just kind of clips in here. I don't know what you would really call it, but you clip it in just like that. And now you'll repeat that process four times with all of the poles or how many ever poles your tent has. For the shower room, there was only four poles. Then I'm going to like pick this up here so I can show you. fly on it. So I'm going to get that out and unravel it. Some tents have a rain fly for just the door. This so the rain fly will cover all of this mesh here so water doesn't come in the inside. After unraveling the rain fly, make sure you have it facing the correct direction. There's a lot of strings here. Perfect. Then you're gonna kind of throw your your rain fly on top of your tent. And I'm too small to do so. Put the rain fly on top of the tent. You're going to hook it on and secure it into place. So there, right here, are these little hooks. And then the place where you put the hooks, you hook it on there. Make sure your rain fly is snug and tight like that. These are tie downs that you can tie to stakes in the ground. You pull it like this downwards. I'll just move the whole tent. You can pull it down like this. Make sure it's super tight. And it will help keep your tent stable when it's really windy or rainy, whatever the case is. And that's how you build a tent.